as you see, I have a, a nice crack on the windshield of my 720S. So either I replace it, either I fix it for 10 bucks. I decided to fix it for 10 bucks and if it works, I will put the link down below so that you can fix it yourself if it happens to you. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the windshield. The thing I'm gonna use is called Permatex. I'll put the link down below if it works. It cost me 10 bucks and I got it in less than 24 hours on Amazon. What do we have? A syringe. This plastic piece. This product. Another plastic piece and a pin. First thing you want to do is to take this pin and make sure there is no glass left inside. You can remove everything. It has to be really clean. So I put the cardboard behind it so you can see it better. Okay. Now we're good. The next step is to take this uh, piece of uh, paper or sticker and place it just around the little hole. Then you take the other side of the tape so that you, you have another sticky face here. You take uh, what looks like a pedestal and you stick it perfectly aligned on top of it. Here we go. Now, I take the resin, I take the syringe, and now I will put three quarter of the resin inside this. Okay, I think I got it. And now we'll use uh, the syringe. Put that here. Pull that off. Up to the top. Okay. So basically what I did here is I've created a vacuum. It sucks the air outside. The syringe stay in place, locked, thanks to this clip. And the directions say to wait at least 10 minutes now. Let's go for 10 minutes countdown. Oh yeah, and it's also recommended to uh, bang the, the windshield like that. Not too hard. Apparently it helps to release the air. I'm not convinced, but anyway, let's do it. While it's sucking the air, let's have a look uh, from underneath and see what's going on. And we are back. So now you want to remove the syringe. You want to put it back. Then you remove the clip and you press up to the, the second clip. So now this time we are putting pressure on the resin so that I guess it'll go into the, the, the cracks. We have to wait for 20 minutes. So 
Let's go. Uh. And 20 minutes later, we are back. So this time, you want to remove the syringe. We are done with it. And then thanks to this uh, razor, I'm gonna pull that up a bit. Now you take this little piece of uh, plastics and uh, you can feel the remaining cracks with the remaining of the resin. Do I have some? Yes. Here we go. Just put that here on top of the cracks. I can tell it's already a good job. I put this guy on top of it. And you want to remove all the air bubbles. No air bubbles at all. I think you can do it with this side. Be careful. And here, because I'm not in the sunlight, I will have to wait a long time. In the sunlight, they say 15 minutes, but it's already 9 p.m. my time. So I couldn't go outside, but I will keep it like that for the whole night and we'll come back tomorrow morning and see how it looks. The next day. Hello people. I think we're good. It's uh, 24 hours after. So let's see how it went. So I take the razor. And I want to remove this piece first and then I will scrape the, the resin. Try to be as parallel as possible from the windshield. You don't want to scrape the, the glass. And I think we're done. So let's clean that up with the alcohol prep pad. Actually, I should have used that to clean up beforehand because it works really good, really well. And just like that, we saved a bunch of money. The result is actually really good. I wasn't expecting that. Today I received the quote to change the whole windshield and it's $3,200 from McLaren. Uh, so obviously my insurance company would have covered a part of this, uh, but I've checked. I have a $2,000 deductible on this car. Um, I probably can go to $500, but anyway, uh, 10 bucks to fix a wheat chill like that, Some a few cracks, uh, that's really cool. So I don't know how much time it will last until it cracks again, but uh, I'm really happy. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumb up, subscribe, hit the bell button to receive push notification when I will publish a new video and see you in the next one. <laughs>